Okay, here we are back again with more Mass Effect 2. And uh, I think we might be finally ready to get started on some of our missions. I think probably the first thing we're going to do, mostly for RP purposes, is go to the Citadel. Um, and I mean, I will say, uh, I want to, as we, as I play, I want to, you know, I'm, I'm going to refrain from spoiling things before they actually happen. Uh, so, you know, this will be a very completionist kind of playthrough and it will be a, a sort of, I guess, best ending kind of playthrough, but, uh, I, I don't want to spoil any big surprises or anything before we get to them, so, um. So yeah, if it's just in case somebody's watching this who hasn't experienced Mass Effect before and uh, you know wants to enjoy all of the surprises that it has to offer, and there's a lot of them. So, um, but I do want to sort of, from an RP perspective, I like to go to the Citadel first because, um, among other things, sort of the way I think of Shepard at this point in the story is. She's really kind of uh, adrift and looking for just about anything that's familiar. Uh, she's, has, she's having to come to grips with the fact that she's been gone for two years um, and that pretty much everyone from her old life has kind of moved on in certain ways. And so she needs to find uh, her place in the galaxy again in a way that she never thought she'd have to. Um, in a strange way because again you know by, for all intents and purposes she's been dead for two years and now she's suddenly back uh, and the galaxy's kind of moved on without her and now she has to figure out where she fits in this uh, in this world again um, and so um, you know so far really the only person that uh, you know even comes close to connecting to her old life is Joker um, he's the only sort of carryover so far from from two years ago. So, uh, but but of course Anderson is another person that you know she feels like you know she can approach him, and he'll probably you know accept her without question. Um, she feels like he's definitely in her corner and on her side about all this stuff, um, and so. I feel like he's probably the first logical person that she would want to turn to. Um, so it just it just makes sense to me from an RP perspective that like when she gets to this point where she okay she has a ship again um, and she can sort of now she's she's in charge so to speak again um, now that she she has the reins that this is really going to be the first place that she chooses to go. Um, is going to be the Citadel uh, because, of course, you know, Anderson is a counselor now, and so she wants to make sure that, uh, let's see, how, I'm pretty sure we're, yeah, we start, oh my gosh, we start low on fuel, okay, I'm going to just go ahead and fill up, I do that kind of automatically every time I find a fuel depot, um, so yeah, this is the new this is the new this is the new galaxy map as you can see we have a little ship here and we have to sort of go around the galaxy and you can see 40 percent that's the percentage of the system that has been explored um and every system has that so that's really nice <laughs> because we'll be able to tell which planets we've been to which ones we haven't yet which is much much better system than Mass Effect 1. Um, but I think before we go to Omega, we are going to go ahead and go straight to the Citadel, which is over here in the Serpent Nebula. Okay, so let's go to the Citadel. 
Supposedly constructed by the long-extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Gravity is simulated through rotation and is a comfortable 1.02 standard G's on the wards and a light 0.3 standard G's on the Presidium ring. Fascinating. And beautiful, as always. So majestic, so gorgeous, and I'm also talking about my cat there, of course, she's a very majestic creature. And we've only got two squad members right now, Miranda and Jacob, of course. Uh, oh, yes, right, I have to level you guys up, don't I? Well, let's do that. Um, let's get you... Yeah, you know, I want you to have more warp, actually. Um, let's see here. Yeah, that's good. And you, sir... I mean, I like incendiary ammo, but you need more pull with the authority figures or something. No, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. That's fine. We're not going to do any camp combat this episode anyway. I just need to get them leveled up. I'm not. Sh I'm still not sure about the green armor. I might change it to purple at some point. I do like purple a lot Commander too. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Right. Yes, Kasumi. So yes, we have a map now, so we can see, uh, we have a map of locations, uh, of the main hub areas at least, we get a map, uh, so we can see what's going on and where things are. Uh, there's a lot of mo new merchants uh, to explore, and a couple of new bars too, to go to, which is great. Uh, no problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. <laughs> Uh-huh, yeah, let's, all right, let's, let's go ahead and do this. Commander Shepard, we have the finest companions waiting for you. Oh my god. Perhaps something petite, smart, and Japanese would be your style. You're, you're really something, Kasumi. Okay. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Are you gonna keep doing that? Okay, really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? <laughs> Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. All right. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Uh, great. I have a lot of those, apparently. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. Um... What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version? They were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. What deal? I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. Well, okay, what the heck is a gray box? I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware. It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Tell me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda. The best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. 
He warned me it was bad. Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. Ooh, that creepy. Got him killed. Do you know what kind of information this was? What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. Great. Okay, so in this Donovan Hawk guy? What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. Okay, okay. I've taken all the investigate options. Let's do it. If that's what Cerberus I mean, you know, we'll get it done. We'll, we'll do it It'll eventually. Not right now. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. What's the fun in that? We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Oh, Kasumi. So, we have our first loyalty mission. Yay. This recruits is a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight! Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates 1 to 1.3% of light speed. It impacts with the force of a 38 kiloton bomb. That is three times the yield of the city buster dropped on Hiroshima back on Earth. That's pretty big. That means Sir Isaac Newton is the deadliest son of a bitch in space. Now, serviceman Burnside, what is Newton's first law? Sir, an object in motion stays in motion, sir. No credit for partial answers, maggot. Sir, unless acted on by an outside force, sir. Damn straight! I dare to assume you ignorant jackasses know that space is empty. Once you fire this hunk of metal, it keeps going till it hits something. That can be a ship, or the planet behind that ship. It might go off into deep space and hit somebody else in 10,000 years. If you pull the trigger on this, you are ruining someone's day, somewhere and sometime. That is why you check your damn targets. That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution. That is why, serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. Very nice. Very nice. I love the. <laughs> I just love this a little bit. This recruits is a twenty kilo. Uh, I know that. Feel okay, thanks. I'm so. Can I help you, ma'am? Uh, lots of security today. It's been a couple years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert. Be safe. All right. Thanks for your time. Next. All right. Well, there we go. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Yeah. Shut it down. Used to be, what? you just walk on. Do you seriously think? Yeah. Walk okay. on in. Sorry for the inconvenience, ma'am. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're dead. I was only mostly dead. Try finding that option on government paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get that cleared up for you. Why don't you talk to my captain? He's just beyond the scanners on the right. Okay. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Wow. That sounds pretty harsh there, sir. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. 
Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. Of course it is. But I can see you're a busy woman. I do have so places to be. I just press this button right here, and we call it done. Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? Yeah. There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. Well, all right. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. Thanks, man. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the specters' resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Um, there's some investigate options here, but I can come back for those a little later and, and take those and talk to him some more. So, uh, we're going to say goodbye for now and head up to the council. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Great. So, I think, yeah, I think, uh, you know, Captain Bailey's probably got the right of it. And the very first thing we should, we should do is just head right back out to the council. To see the council. And especially to see... Counselor Anderson, our old buddy. So let's uh, let's do that. A rapid transit here, and we can go to Presidium. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. I'm so we glad someone's happy to see me. we surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his geth. Um, uh... Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper Sovereign. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Wow, you're snarky. Oh, missed that claim. Are you kidding me? Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source... The others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Oh my god. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of you can't prove a negative. technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. Oh, for Christ's sake. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. I want to punch you, you all of you. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the council. This is treason, a capital offense. What? That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this council, too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. I accept your offer. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship like, with Cerberus. She's not happy about it, but she's going to take it, which she can get. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. I know. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. 
Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Boy, there's a and lot of graphics a, glitches going on here. Talk about... Shepard. Yeah, hi, Dina. What are you doing here? Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Counselor, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yeah. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. I guess. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? Yeah. Of course, Counselor. Time out. Good day to both of you. Go to time out. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Uh, that's all right. Udin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. So, um, how are things? How have the last couple years treated you? Serving on the council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Uh, sorry. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. Yeah. It's nightmare stuff. I know. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. Neither can I. I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Yeah. Fighting the good fight, right? Sure, but, you know, you could always... Forget Udina and the council. Join my crew and help me stop the collectors. Damn, right. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Ah, come on. As much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. But it'd be fun. The front line. That's got to be yours. All right. So, um, let's talk about this stuff. What about Citadel? How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Okay, what about Sovereign? I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Oh, boy. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Now, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Well, that's Not that something. Not you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. Yeah, okay. A civilian ship will spot an enclave, and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Okay, that's cool. What about Ash? What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. All right. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you, but if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Thanks, Anderson. I appreciate it. You're a good buddy. Okay, so we talked to Anderson. We got our Spectre status reinstated, so that's good. Um, and I think next time we'll probably just, uh, explore the wards a little bit, see what there is to see, maybe do a little shopping with some of this money we got, and we'll, s we'll see about that. Um, anyway, uh, as always, if you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you in the next episode. Later!